first paragraph just talks about the council that, that you all thought you, mo you would most likely interact with. That's the Altamaha, the coastal, and the lower Flint. Um, you do have a small part that's bordered by the upper Flint, but we think most of those issues or shared concerns um, could be addressed by coordinating some with the other council. So those would really be the Altamaha, the coastal, and the lower Flint are the three councils you felt like you should plan with or understand how they're planning or coordinate some efforts most closely. Are you talking are you talking about coordinating with the with the lower Flint? Is that what you're saying? Or the upper Flint? The lower Flint. The lower Flint, okay. That's where the most problems are in the lower Flint. Mm -hmm. And I think that part of the coordinating with the lower Flint would be to help understand the issues that they're facing to hopefully avoid those in this region. I think you're right about that. We do need to avoid some of that stuff over there. Council's greatest concern is the impact of adjacent regions on groundwater supplies. That was kind of the biggest, the biggest topic that we talked about. And then there were several specific issues that we felt like um, would be beneficial to, to have some shared understanding. Um, agricultural water use, of course, is the biggest. Uh, understanding, and again, this this is driven mostly about gathering more information and new and better data. Um, right now, all ag water is considered consumed. Um, is it really consumed? Uh, are there measurements that are telling us with different crops? Are they using different amounts? What are the runoff uh, amounts? what's actually kind of evaporating back out or transpiring back out. So part of the ag water use was really looking at ways um, to get more data and information. Also to understand how retrofits are working or other technologies are working uh, to improve irrigation. The next was aquifer storage and recovery. We just talked about that. Again, I think that this region just wanted to understand how that test has gone and is it something feasible here. Saltwater intrusion, I think that the biggest concern here is the limitations uh, for coastal groundwater withdrawals now. Where are they going to be looking for additional water supplies? And so I think that this council wants to make sure that they are um, aware of the issues the coastal council is facing and how that may impact um, waters here. Um, groundwater recharge areas, again, understanding the impacts of activities in groundwater recharge areas of the Altamaha region in particular, including the timing and quality of groundwater supplies and how those potentially impact this region. And then again, data and information, and this is really looking at lessons learned in the lower Flint. Uh, particularly in, in regards to the ACF negotiations and how this region and that region may best be able to address shared resources um, of the St. Mary's using the lessons learned in the ACF basin uh, and, and how things have worked there. This council has actually done a good job um, of, of having a relationship with Florida and talking with Florida. Cliff and Scott do that and so I think that that um, helps prepare you for, for future conversations, which is great. So then the recommendations of how to coordinate in that intercouncil planning. Um, the council recommended that the chairman initially attend the Altamaha and Coastal meetings with Cliff as the EPD uh, liaison reporting back on the Lower Flint Council. He attends those meetings anyway. Uh, and then, as the process moves forward, determine if there are any other um, ways that, that the engagement needs to be done uh, in the future. But that's kind of seen as, over the next year, a way to get that started. Any questions, comments, additions? Eugene, I'm going to get you your packet for the day. <coughs> Everybody's mind clear on those bullet points? You guys don't mind, we'll take a, uh, a vote of affirmation on that. If everybody's good with it, can you just signify by saying aye? Aye. Uh, opposed, like sign? No, right. I'm in working on it. Let's move on to the okay, uh, right. 
key implementation hackers. 